So what are educated Filipinos like? You see a lot of videos from vloggers, from Western vloggers, about poor Filipinos and what their lives are like. The hut over there, which you've seen many times before, the man and his girlfriend, they're poor. They're uneducated, but they're lovely people. We help them out with food and financially they do things around the house and around the property if things are broken. But we make sure they've always got something to eat. That's being poor. They don't speak any English, either of them. But for this video, I'm more interested in the educated Filipino stroke Filipina. Now, what do I mean by educated? I'm talking predominantly, though not exclusively, about Filipinos that have gone to university. They finished high school and rather than left school, the education system altogether, they've continued into higher education. Well, like any country, it means ultimately you're able to get a better job, a better paying job. You can even, if you're lucky, be able to work abroad, depending on what your degree is. If it was like a, a degree on computers, etc engineering right so in terms of who I've met and I've met many educated Filipinos Filipinas here they nearly can all talk English in fact they all can some far better than others but they all can talk English pretty well you can have good discussions with them. I used to hear bullshit on other vlogs before I came here. Don't ever talk about politics. I talk about politics. They're fine. I not only talk about politics here. Occasionally, I mean, I'm not that interested. I talk about politics back home, what it was like, uh, about the destruction of the West, Western culture, Western civilization. And people, you know, if they're educated, they'll respond, they'll talk to you. They'll ask you what it's like from where you come from. And you can hold decent conversations. Sometimes you maybe have to talk a little slower. You have to repeat yourself or change your wording slightly if they've not understood you. Or if you've got somebody with you who speaks better English, they explain to them in their in Tagalog or Visaya dialects so they understand what you're saying. I find the educated Filipinos are very interested in where you come from, what life is like. And some of the educated Filipinos, not all, some of them have worked abroad. So that makes them even more interesting because they've seen something else about life rather than just the Philippines. My um, wife's aunt, she lives in the UK, where I come from, in London. She's been there with her husband, a Filipino husband, many years now. Her kids, her two kids were born there. They're all um, British citizens. Maybe they're dual, but they got their British citizenship years ago. She misses it here. She comes here once, twice a year. Uh, they all, uh, the kids are still at school, but the parents work. They buy up land when they come here. They've got quite a lot of land. And that enables them, for when they come here to retire, to have a decent life. Because they've worked hard in the UK and been able to save the money to buy. With what they wouldn't be able to afford if they stayed here. 
because believe me, the wages here are not good. The barangay captain, they don't get paid that much. Now it does depend on where you live. If you're the barangay captain in Manila, which is a large, large area, you're gonna get more than if you're the barangay captain of a small place here. The barangay captains are the lowest of government workers. I don't mean clerical staff. I mean in the high hierarchical structure. For example, a barangay captain is lower than a mayor, is lower than a governor, is lower than a senator. They still wield power though. Trust me on that one. But I do know that even if you're working for the local government here, or the government, your pay is still pretty grim. Yep, higher than somebody that doesn't. And yes, you'll get a pension at the end of it when you retire, but still low, because I've asked, compared to what I was getting in the UK. Of course, in the UK, the cost of living was far, far higher. So maybe it kind of evens itself out, kind of. So yeah, back to the educated Filipinos. For me, I was gonna say that was what I was aiming for when I was looking to meet a Filipina. That's not true, I didn't have that in my, in my head. I knew I didn't want a Filipina that couldn't speak English or spoke so such little English to be, you know, ridiculous. I didn't want that. So, Yes, I wanted somebody reasonably educated. They didn't have to be university standard. My Filipina ex-wife wasn't, though she was highly intelligent. Most Filipinos, Filipinas are very intelligent, whether they've gone to university or not. But I'm happy with who I met. My wife's very educated. Her family, in the main, not every member, but in the main are fairly educated. In the main are not poor. There's one or two that are far from wealthy, but in the main quite a few of them work abroad or have half decent jobs here. So my story is a different one. I'm not married or with a poor Filipina who has a poor family trying to suck the lifeblood in terms of finances out of me. I don't have that problem. Which to me is a good thing. I wouldn't want that problem. Obviously, if you marry or go with a very poor Filipina, and a poorly educated Filipina that comes from the same type of family, poorly educated, very poor, which she will do, things are gonna to be totally different than what I experience. Sure, the culture would be the same, but your experience will be different. I hold many long conversations with members of her family, her extended family, So the choice is yours, what you're looking for. Old, young, educated, not so. Personally, it would drive me nuts being with somebody very poorly educated. Number one, you couldn't converse with them properly. And even the educated, they don't get everything you say. They don't understand certain concepts of what you say and misunderstand. But if they're uneducated, and just that kind of, I suppose, view of life that an uneducated person might have. But everyone's free to choose what they like, and good luck with that. Am I saying you should never go with a person from a poor family? Of course not. 
So long as they're not trying to screw you for money, of course not. Do I think it's wise to go with somebody that speaks very, very little English? No, I don't think that's a good choice to make. Avoid, I would say. If you go with a Filipina and the family start begging for money in one way or the other, dump the Filipina, find someone else and live your life the way you want to live your life. Not the way I live my life, but the way you feel comfortable living your life. Because it's all about you, it's not about me. I make these videos, but it's all about you. Just as an extra, I don't understand why the video I made yesterday has got so few views. I don't know if YouTube are shadow banning it because of the subject matter. But it's quite a good video, philosophical. It's got no views, and yet there are other vloggers here who do their boring videos. Yes, they have a few more subscribers than me, but they do their boring videos on what to do when you come to the Philippines, when you meet someone. I mean, I know I've done those type of videos, but I try and stay away from doing too many. I don't want to do my monthly budget each bloody month boring because it applies to me, not you. You're going to experience a different type of budget. I can give you an idea and it's good to do one or two, perhaps, videos like that a year, but not every flipping week. You know, I can do videos like well, this is the Philippines. Now you've come here. Are you going to enjoy it? Are you going to fit in with the Filipino community? I can do videos like that and bore you to death. And perhaps my videos do bore you to death. But I try and do videos, not always, but every now and then that are different. Because if I just do the same things that everybody else does time and time again, I'm no different. I try and tackle subjects others will not, or wouldn't even know how to. So if one of my videos is about vaginas, it's not about, you know, a lad type of video. Ha <laughs> ha let's come to the Philippines and have as much pussy as possible. It's not that. It's a philosophical talk about whatever trust me i wouldn't waste my time just doing a rubbish video and it's even clickbaity because you don't see that those kind of titles my last video i'm talking about about vaginas so either youtube doesn't like it and it's not promoting it because i can't believe it's got a hundred odd views in almost 24 hours ridiculous and, I, and you know, the one that goes, oh, if you come to the Philippines and this and that happens, um, he gets like 300 views, no matter what kind of video, after several hours. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, I don't make a penny from my videos, never have done. My only ego is, I suppose, why would I want 10 people watching a video when I can have 2,000? Why would I want 2,000 people watching my videos if I could get five? Why would I want 5,000 if I could? That's my only thing. I don't get a penny. I'm not sponsored. I told you in a previous video, I had uh, Christian Filipina, the dating website, approach me three times to ask if they could be a sponsor for my site. I politely answered and then never bothered. So I'm free to make these videos about any subject. But some of my videos, they're wild. Some get two, two and a half thousand after several days and some get nothing, virtually nothing. And yet I see other people who are fucking boring. 
quite honestly. Gee. And these other people, they're, they're getting their little bit of money, so their titles are clickbaity. Which is fair enough, they want to make the money, you've got to get the views. I just want the views, not just for vanity's sake, but because I want my message to get across to as many people as possible. But I don't make one cent. I have never made one cent in a year and a half of my channel. Twice I've had enough to monetize my channel and twice I've deleted every damn video and started again. Maybe in the future I would want to monetize. I don't know. So in terms of honesty, in terms of do I make things up? No, I have no need to ever make things up for I make no financial gain. What? So ever. And if I have a clickbaity title, which I try not to, it's because I want the views, purely the views, the eyeballs, nothing else. If YouTube closed this channel down today, who cares? I'd open it up again. Different name, certainly wouldn't be about the Philippines, and I'd be anonymous and do something else. If I lose every video I've made, who cares? I've deleted twice. I've deleted to maybe almost 500 videos, maybe a bit less, 400, from the two times I've wiped clean. And I make my videos on my phone, so I can't save them. I'm not on my old computer where I could save the videos. I don't care. Take your damn glasses off, Phil. Take your damn glasses off. Where's your Gucci glasses you used to wear? They're somewhere. You know the Gucci ones that, um, Notorious Big, the gangster rap of the 90s? I've got a pair of those. I used to wear those. In terms of why do I wear these glasses? When I started my, um, Website. I never wore these. I never wore sunglasses. Very, very occasionally. Maybe one in ten videos. So I did make loads of videos without wearing them. Have I got a problem with my eyes? No, I haven't. Apart from if it's sunny, which it's not today. And the sun glare goes in my eyes and I'm trying to make a video. Yeah, I've got a problem. Why then do you wear the, the sunglasses? Why does Jeff Lynn from ELO wear sunglasses? Why did Ian Hunter from What the Hoople wear sunglasses the whole time? I don't know, perhaps they did have problems. It's just an image that, you know, I remember one subscriber early on saying he liked me wearing sunglasses, it made me different from the other vloggers. I had another one, another subscriber during that period, take your sunglasses off, I don't like it on. I've had people say you look creepy. Yeah. Whatever. Maybe I want to be Roy Orbison. Going back to the educated Filipina, Filipino, it just occurred to me, perhaps you're not particularly educated. So it doesn't matter to you. You don't want somebody so educated that you're not gonna keep up with them. So really it is your choice what you do. Jeez, this video's gone on too long, people get bored. Watch the vagina video, the previous one to this. That's all.